Hello, my name's Tony and I'm the Society's Librarian and Archivist. In this short video, I'm going to give you a few top tips on how to use the Society's e-journals collection and tell you a little bit more about how the Society's Library can help you. As a Royal Aeronautical Society member, you have access to over 2,500 full-text journals and magazines included as part of your current membership. The magazines are a great source of news, views and developments, and the perfect tool to brush up your knowledge or explore new areas, thereby contributing towards your continual professional development and help you progress towards your career goals. It's not all work, there's also some one or two aero history journals too. So what type of things does this e-journals package actually cover? Well, it covers news, for example, it has uh, the recent copies of Flight International, Defence and Aerospace Week and Flight Daily News. There's technical papers and articles from places like the International Journal of Aerospace Engineering and Space Science Review, together with the selection material from the Journal of Fluid Mechanics and the Society's very own Aeronautical Journal. Air power is not left out. You've got things like Air and Space Power Journal, Military Technology, Naval Forces, Defence and Aerospace Week. There is also stuff on civil aviation, air transport world, airline business, airport business, and space is not left out either. Satellite Today, Space and Missile Defence Report, Space Science Review, and lots of NASA material, of course. Rotorcraft have rotor and wing and helicopter news, and maintenance has aircraft maintenance technology. Aviation historians can also enjoy articles and papers from aviation history, air power history, air classics, and technology and culture. Of course, this is not only just an aviation database, it's actually an advanced technologies database. So there's also interesting things on other stuff. For a full list of aero titles, you could have a quick look at the Society's Journals homepage, where we're heading to next. So how do you access the e-journals? Well, you go to www.aerosociety.com slash e-library and select the Access e-library services box. On this page, you'll also find a list of the key aerospace and aviation titles contained in the database, together with the full listing. Then just put in your society website username and password, select access the full ebook catalogue here. When you log in, you should see this screen, which shows you have connected to the database. You've got a nice Google type screen there. Um, I've got some narrowing down things up the top there. Wouldn't personally do that in this section, but you can if you'd like. I thought I'd show you what happens by doing a search for hydrogen fuels. So bung in a term, see it whirring, and we'll see what comes up. Uh, 43,000 hits. This database isn't just an aerospace um, database. It's also one that covers lots of advanced technologies which is great in one way, but not so great in the other, because it does it does cover a lot of subjects. Um, so what I'll do is I'll narrow it down by putting aircraft. If you're looking for a specific element of hydrogen fuels research, you can bung it in there, of course. See what happens there. Brings it down to 3,000. Well, there's... Um, two major aspects to this database. You've got the more news stuff and you've got the more research paper stuff. So this search, I'll just have a look at the scholarly journals. So if you just hit scholarly journals, that'll narrow it down. You can even put just put the creme de la creme and look for the peer reviewed stuff. Again, if you want more recent stuff or you don't mind your old stuff, you can narrow it down on the left hand side there or put your dates in. They've also can do it by subject, document type, language and publication title if you like. If you just want to look for stuff from um, some of the big aero journals, you can do it that way. Right, let's see what we've got. Uh, I'm going to select this one here from um, Energies of Basel. Have a quick look at that. You get a nice green where you can actually see nicely how it's all set up on a computer screen here. If you want to print, I'd have a look at the um, full text PDF one. It just reproduces how it was in the original paper journal. Um, you can download the article there or up there. You can email it to yourself. You can print it out. 
I quite like the stuff on the right hand side because it um, says if you like this article you may like this so you can follow the links here and you can really affect the you can um, do a minor search and narrow down those, those results by having a go at uh, ticking some of these subjects you might find some interesting stuff that way I generally view it during full text because it's quite nice to see on a computer screen go down as you normally would and read it um, I quite like what you can do with images uh, here we are so if you see a nice um, graph you can zoom in um, you can flick between graphs you can zoom in you can zoom out and you can even download the images and put them in your report you can also use this thing to find some very obscure stuff so if I go back to basic search um, Make sure full text is still on. I'm going to have a quick look for the Tupolev uh, 244, which was a supersonic transport aircraft. So if I do a search that way, it brings up one result and nothing to do with the aircraft. Uh, doesn't matter too much. Um, what you can do is the database is set so you just see stuff where you can see full text journals. But if you want to expand your search, you can hit get rid of that search and see the full um, stuff which is also in abstracts there we are and it brings up some other stuff so for example it brings up results from aviation week and space technology which isn't in this uh, you can't see the full text this way however the um, society has got a very good collection of aviation week so if you want to find something there you can press the request this item box and a message comes through to the National Aerospace Library we can see whether we've got a copy in stock or see if we can suggest somewhere else where you can get a copy if you're a great fan of an individual title you can also read through an issue as well as search for the entire um, database and as it's a technology database not just limited to aerospace there's some surprising titles so rather than going into the full text bit go into publications put in um, something like computer shopper there we are and it will bring up a result and the most recent issue comes up here okay you don't get a a flick through page by page system but you can use it to go through all the articles there perhaps open up the uh, table of contents and see what is in there have a quick look to see if there's anything interesting there Ooh, how to move your business online that's quite useful in the current climate so you know that's on page 120 Squiz through the uh, the complete list until you get to page 120. Click on it and look at the full text. And there we are, the complete issue of the article. And if you want to, you can download the, the PDF and read it at your leisure. eJournal is only half of the Society's e-library. The other half is e-books. We have over 200 textbooks designed to brush up your skills, perhaps on new areas or perhaps stuff that you haven't looked at for a bit and need a bit of uh, a reminder. There's stuff on aero engineering and space engineering, air transport management, maintenance, avionics, green aviation, aero history titles and stuff that's been suggested by our society's book reviewers. For more information, watch the ebooks video. If you can't find what you're after on the e-library, or just like the feel of paper in your hands, try our traditional library. The best way to access this is via our library catalogue. Again, we have a good, simple, Google-style search box, but I rather like the guided search, which gives you information on the most recent books and articles on many of the subjects that are covered in the library. When you find what you need, select Request. We can then arrange for the item to be put to one side for you. Members of the society from in the UK can then ask to borrow books via our postal loan service, whilst for a small fee, anyone can request a copy of other material to be scanned or posted to them. But we're not all about work. We have an excellent collection of material on the world of aviation and aerospace, both past, present and future.
If reading is not your thing, we have the cream of society lectures and interviews as podcasts, including some with the great names of aviation, including Sir Frederick Handley Page and Sir Alan Cobham, plus there is amazing early aircraft footage on our YouTube channel. We can even help with a perfect cup of tea with an aero mug. You can choose from over 12,000 of our images to be placed on posters, puzzles, prints and more. The perfect present for Christmas. Most importantly, we have years of experience helping people to find the information they need. So if you have any questions or comments, please do let us know. Thank you.